know if I parked this truck at a certain uh, just a certain spot and it kind of you know settles in the right spot the wrong way that air compressor this it's the compressor there's nothing wrong with it it's quiet if I could get that I'm gonna have to get another screw down here in the corner anyway well we got a pretty good job here we're gonna do uh, this Roadrunner hay squeeze I already rebuilt both tilt cylinders up there and I rebuilt the big mass cylinder got it in there now he decided to just go ahead and rebuild the mast these tubes let me see you can see it well you can see it right there see this big gap right here this tube's worn out the uppers we already looked at them they're not too bad you can see the gaps on the bushings here we're gonna pull this whole clamp apart um, first thing we're gonna do is get it cleaned out uh, we're gonna repack the side shift cylinder right here and then we're gonna redo both clamp cylinders and we're gonna cut this whole I've done these I've done one a long time ago but we'll cut all this out what we gotta basically torch we'll torch this out here uh, there's a skid plate back here a guide plate you'll see it when I get it all apart but I need to get this light over here closer to the machine where we can see what we're doing but I'm just gonna blow all this garbage hay chaff and stuff like that out of here for right now Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is pull the arms off. Here's kind of a what we're going to do. These bushings we're going to change. We're going to repack the side shift cylinder, both clamp cylinders, this angle iron that's on the bottom of the clamp itself. You can see where it's worn down on the edges from going into the stacks. Uh, this bolt here was broke off. He was saying you can just pull it out by hand so it's gonna have to beat it out the other end anyway we'll do the clamp last i mean i can do that that's no big deal we got to get these bolts out get the clamp arms off uh, then what we'll do is we'll unpin the chain we'll set it down we'll back up where we can get to the high parts or the ceiling there where we don't hit the i-beam there in the roof and we should be able to take these, unpin them, and then basically set the clamp down the floor, and then we'll lift the carriage off of it. You know, we'll lift the, the carriage, we'll kind of, we'll, I'll show you. Sometimes I have a hard time explaining things. I'm, I'm one of them hands-on guys. I can't explain stuff for shit sometimes. But anyways, that's what we're gonna do. What size are these? Is that a three-quarter inch bolt? Mm. That's a pile of hay chaff I blew up from there. Kind of a good idea to do that because we're going to be we're going to be uh, cutting and welding and doing all sorts of stuff here. So let's see if the I I doubt I doubt this gun's going to have enough to do it, but we'll try it. Let's see, I'm thinking like inch and five sixteenths is what I'm thinking. Six 
exactly what it is. If we get on the nut end. Okay, well, put that one loose in there. You sure love that heater, huh, girl? That girl loves that heater. better I can get on that a little better out here okay well that ain't gonna do that one let's try this one over here washer underneath the pickup. Look at that. Those aren't, these usually don't come off very easily. Let's get the pneumatic gun and hit it. Where is that gun at, Daze? Where'd them other two knuckleheads go? Sure, I got that door open. Duke! Duke! Hey, bud. What's the matter? You don't like air hoses. If I grab an extension cord or an air hose or anything, boy, he's running for the hills. I don't know what what his deal is with certain dogs or just seems like they're scared, scared of certain things. He's scared to death of any kind of cord or hose. Recess right there kind of screws me up. God dang it. So I could get that entrance to go up against something. This one will be cut off with the torch. Hmm. Wow. Okay. I will not be messing with your ass. You will be cut off with a cutting torch. Uh, see if we can break this top one loose. The bolt itself. So, gotta beat that other one out of there. Maybe. Let's see if it comes out of there willingly. 
most of the times they don't. I should have a punch like that punch at it's a heel bar it is right here that should fit in there just if you can knock that chunk of crap out of there there it is huh there's the broken one right there and we got the torch cut the other one off Yeah, let me get the torch out. Where's my hammer? The big hammer.
lives there. They go on a lot easier when they come off. Get a little rust off the shaft. Hey, chap. Built itself up in there, packed itself in there. one side up but there's what happens to those things especially when they get worn out see the hay chaff and stuff that gets built up in between there and they just come off hard once you clean all this crap out and clean the rods up this is getting changed well tubes getting changed but we'll clean all this up here real good and it'll slide right on there okay now the other side guys so we got our arms off got all our hoses off unhooked them here let's go up a little bit what we're gonna do is move this inner rail it should come out of here and we got it with our crane so it doesn't flop over hopefully now let me put this out here where you guys can see what's going on
Okay guys, well, here we are. Yeah, if you're gonna do that, you gotta have something else to hold this, uh, hold this up. Or if you pull away, it's just gonna go falling on the ground. So, Side blocks. Those got plenty of meat left there. Plenty of meat there on them. I don't know. These probably would be worth changing while we're here. I might ask him. But here's this plate back here. This plate is welded to this tube that we're going to replace. We'll have to cut all this off. I don't remember if that tube slides out of there. I think it does. Yeah, it just slides out of there. It's a solid piece of tubing. Let's pull the spot open now. I'll show you the wear. The bottoms are always the ones getting really worn, really bad. You can see right here. This guy does. He's this is at 15,000 hours on this, so he can't fault the guy too much for saying he didn't grease or whatever. I don't know if you can see that. See how much thicker it is over here? And look over here, that's how that's how worn out that tube is. And this solid piece, I've never seen those get really worn down. It's always the tube that gets worn down. So we got quite a bit of work we gotta do. Uh, we gotta cut all this off here. This whole assembly here. The guy can go ahead and pull the rods out on these sides too. Kind of lighten things up a little bit, make things a little easier to, to manage. up here I'm gonna continue on with this video tomorrow and first thing we'll do when we come out tomorrow we'll pull all these cylinders off and strip them and then we'll probably cut well I think the way that I have to do that I can't remember if they welded that back in here it's easier to get to and see things once you get these cylinders off of here but uh, I'm just going to lay it down gently. I'm going to get four more blocks just like that. And I'm just going to lay it down here. Or two more blocks like that. And just lay it down right here. Let's kick some of this hay chaff or something. Let it soak up some of that oil. That, that'll soak up that oil. Good old hay chaff. Alright guys, upwards and onwards.